always said basically to the team, you know, we're in a good stage right now that we're not happy with a tie. At the same token, we didn't give up a goal. We've had a unbeaten streak since Stanford. And again, I see this young team grow day by day. So, you know, although you uh, didn't get the three points, you know, I think overall I'm pleased. Uh, we knew before the game, you know, we scouted St. Mary's, uh, you know, preseason, and we've seen them from last year. They are a junior, senior team. They're extremely disciplined. They're very dangerous on their restarts in, in the final third, on throw-ins from the side, on corner kicks and free kicks. That's what they really live for. Last year, I believe they scored uh, 20 out of 27 goals on restarts. And, you know, I think our guys really wilted it. You know, we bend it and bend it and bend it, but we didn't give up. And I think, you know, for a young team like this to stay for 110 minutes, play against an experienced, very good team, you know, I think I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think uh, starting around the Stanford game, Brandon just, you know, his training, everything about him, you know, became more mature. Uh, I think he has made a decision that he really wants to lead by example. And, you know, I think the first round in conference in those first four games, I think he's really showing to be the junior goalkeeper that we are all, you know, projecting him to be. You know, and right now, the way he's playing, he's really the leader, you know, of, 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 of our back line. We need to have two days of good training in, really recover from this four-game spell, uh, physically, mentally recover, and then prepare for, for a road trip starting with USD on Friday night.